a concrete statement to me. Should I understand that statement to mean you believe you're not dictate for me? I am not dictating for you. It just bothers me that my husband has the opportunity to become king and he's not doing anything about it. Can you swear on anything sacred that you are sure I have not been doing anything about it from my side? You don't need to ask me that for it's so clear already that you've not been doing anything. You're just sitting and waiting for nature to be talking sheep on you. I'm in the position to tell you that it doesn't happen that way. Men who desire power must go for it. Power does not fall on people who do not scheme for it. Are you doing this for me because you genuinely want me to be the king of Enuago? Or are you doing this for yourself because you want me to become king for you to be the queen? You can answer that yourself. Royalty in Enuago Kingdom has become big business. And I'm tired of sitting on the periphery as the wife of the brother to the king. The one who is king has been compromised already. And my husband can become king. Listen, set the machinery in motion and skim your way through the throne. It is for the family, not for me, not for you either. Think about it. Listen. I don't need to tell you all that time is money. Oh yes, time is money. As we speak, my co-ballers are waiting for me out there because we need to shut somewhere down. So what am I trying to say? I want the agenda of this meeting to be fast and brief. In fact, let's visit it immediately. Leonard, let this be the last time you will ever speak before me if I have not given you the permission to do so. Why? Are we living in the barracks? Leo, shut up and sit down. Your father called for this meeting, and I expect you to be as calm as everyone else. Let allow him to tell us his agenda. All right, Sharon. I'm oh, sorry. All right, Mom. Let me take a chill pill. It's all good. Well, just make it snap in the ball as I'm waiting. <clears throat> well, the agenda for this meeting is the restoration of peace in this family. It has become glaring to even outsiders that we lack synergy as a family. And to me, that is not good for us at all. Good. We lack peace. No synergy, as you said. There will be no peace, yes. There is no peace in this palace because you took what rightfully belongs to me. I was handling part of your business and trust me, I was doing great. All of a sudden, my office was hijacked and given to a total stranger. I will shoot that manager. I promise. That was because you were at the verge of running my company down. Leonard, I know what I went through to establish the business. And I would be a fool to allow a young man who cannot even take care of himself to run my business down. Never! Listen, Pop. Listen and listen real good. There will be no peace in this palace until you give me back my position. I am a prince, so no one, I repeat, no one will take my position. Oh, what? What do you think you can do, Leonard? You know what? I want you out of this meeting, this minute. Why? You want him out of this meeting because he said his mind? Now sit down, you're not going anywhere. I beg your pardon? What did you just say? Be very careful with the kind of words you use while addressing my brother. He is not just the head of this family. He is the king of Enuago, and at all times, his word is law. And you, young man, the king just gave you an order that he wants you out of his presence. And I'm giving you just seven seconds to obey that order. Or you are going to discover why even deadly masquerades will always come and bow to the king. Seven. Six. Five, four. Oga, okay, listen. I beat elders. 
Three. It's not like I'm running away. I'll be right back. Two. See you all in the gym. Sharon, you better find time and talk to your son. One more time, he has ruined a meeting that I called. Find time and talk sense to him because I don't want to lose it. You see, all this you can do against my son. Hmm? All your evil agenda will be for you. Kolokwan. I'm sorry for what happened here. I'll talk to my brother. Sincerely, Henry, you really need to talk to them. What happened here just now is not good for the family. I'll talk to him. Really? I mean, you have any reason to believe she could equally be an, a drug addict? Her attitude towards her children shows everything. Don't you think so? Honestly, I am trying very hard to understand you. Why are you making a case out of nothing? Nothing? You listened to all I said and you came up with a conclusion that it is nothing? Why are you like this, mother? Harry, what is your problem? I do not have a problem. If there's anyone who has a problem here, it's Leo who is trying to destroy his life. So what do you want me to do? Mother, I have asked you to stop indulging in hard drugs. If not for anything, for his own life, it would destroy him. The government banned these drugs because it is not good for the body. It is destructive. Mother, these drugs do not only render one useless, it kills. And that is what you should make Leo understand. Henry, you are very stupid to sit before me and call my son useless. You know what? I want to be left alone. I am not in the right frame of mind right now, please. Mother, are you saying that you are comfortable with what he does? I just said something now, Henry. I want to be left alone. I need a son who will challenge whatever needs to be challenged in this palace, not one who will tolerate everything. I understand where you're coming from, mother. And I'll say this to you right now, mother. Peace is what we need. Peace is the only thing that can give us the respect we deserve as the first family in this land. Henry, I was very emphatic when I told you I wanted to be left alone. Please, take your useless preaching of peace elsewhere. Please. Stella, you were there in the meeting. You saw how I commanded the useless boy and his mother. Didn't you see how they obeyed me without saying a word? Doesn't, doesn't that make you understand that I am the one in charge? In charge of what, if I may ask? Everything! Oh, please give me and give me a break. Listen, our target should be how to capitalize on the information at our disposal and take over the kingdom and not commanding a useless woman and her useless son. Wait a minute, Stella. What exactly do you want me to do? I should kill my only brother and then declare myself king? It is not that easy. It is not easy like that. And you know it yourself. Damien, you are the one that saved your father. Uh -huh. You are the one he had wanted to succeed him. Listen, you are the one that understands the tradition of this land. Let me ask you, your brother is so-called king. Are you not the one that guides him in all the rituals he must perform at intervals as king? Uh, uh, sure. You see what I mean? He came back from abroad and became the king. Because he is your elder brother. 
Damien, you must rise up and make the elders understand that he is a novice. He doesn't know anything. Listen to me. I am going to plead with you one more time, Stella. Allow me to handle this because I know this process more than you. Yes, I am very bitter that my brother came from nowhere, skilled me out and became the king. But I am strategizing on how I will take the throne back from him. And I'm telling you as your wife that I'm not seeing that strategy. That useless woman that cannot train her children is still there parading herself as the queen. Oh, and it pains me greatly. I want it to stop. At once. Mom, Dad, is everything all right? Everything is all right, my son. I don't think so. How do you mean? I thought I heard both of you arguing. We are talking, not arguing. Exactly! Yes. And someone like you that was sent to the best university in this country. She know the difference between two people talking and two people arguing. Anyway, I'm heading out. I'll see you guys later. It's all right, son. Hey, you, hey, it's, what, 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 what is all right? Did you just hear what he said? He referred to his parents as you guys. And you saw nothing wrong with that? Dad, I, I am very sorry. Just a mistake. It won't happen again, I promise. Mom, I'll see you guys later. It's okay. Bye. He has gotten used to it. He even said it again. Listen, Damien. He has apologized. Please, don't make a case out of it. Sit him down and warn him. Beautiful princess of Inuagu Kingdom. You always look stunning and glamorous. And I guess this is a new hair. It's beautiful on you. Stanley, are you stalking me? Of course not. Come on, princess. Are you going to punish me forever for just, just an innocent mistake? Innocent mistake? Of course. I went down with you and you had the guts to tell my brother about it. And you're calling it an innocent mistake. Come on, princess. It didn't happen just the way you think. Just give me the chance to explain to you all that happened so you can understand. Okay, just, just relax. I'll tell you all that happened that day. Just give me the chance, please, my princess. Where do you think you're going? I already told you where I was going to. And what did I tell you? Mommy, you didn't say anything, so I took that to be a yes. Does it mean you've not heard what is happening in the country now? How some unscrupulous and extremely crooked elements are forcefully collecting ladies on the wares for some form of ritual. <coughs> Mommy, what does that got to do with me? Rituals. I don't have any business with anybody that's into rituals. How is that my business? The same thing with all the innocent girls who had nothing to do with them, yet became victims. Go back inside, and please, don't ask me why. I mean, why are you doing this? I already called Kamela, I told her that I'm coming. Then call her back. Tell her your mother insisted you're going nowhere. Cindy, don't get me angry. Mommy, why are you doing this now? Why are you doing this? You're doing this because you know I cannot disobey you. This is not fair. This is not fair. This is not fair. I know I have a bad case here, but you have to forgive me. Listen, princess, I never told your brother I slept with you. I only confirmed the fact that we were together. But then the conclusion of us sleeping together was his. I couldn't have told him such a thing. You have to forgive me, please, my princess. So what exactly do you want from me now? Of course you know what I want. I want you back in my life. I want to have you again. That's because I miss you so much. My princess, you can't throw away all that we shared together just because of the outburst of a drug addict. I beg your pardon. You just called my brother a drug addict. 
listen, princess. I, I like to say things the way they are. I don't, I don't like to paint pictures. Your brother is a drug addict. And you must accept it. And if you ask me, your brother needs help. He needs rehabilitation. The first help we should give to him is to condemn his use of hard drugs. I'm done with you, Stanley. Highlight from my car now. Are you angry because I told you the truth? To hell with your truth. If you don't highlight from this car right now, you will not like what I will do to you. Okay. It's fine. I'll leave your car. Know that you are sweet. What will I be doing with an ill mannered girl like you? No good home training. Nonsense. See me, right? You're wondering why I'm here, right? Absolutely. Good. I am here to collect money. What money? I don't understand. Exactly. I am confused here. Father placed you on a 300,000 Naira stipend every month. And on the 15th of every month, you get credited. To the best of my knowledge, you pay no bills. Why are you here asking me for more money? Listen, I am not here for a long conversation. My mission is simple. I am broke. I need money. And when people need money, they go to their brothers. Besides, what makes you think that 300,000 Naira will be enough for a heavy spender like me? Uh, heavy spender, right? Mm -hmm. Besides, what makes you think 300,000 will be enough for a heavy spender like Leo? Mm -hmm. The 300,000 Naira is not enough for you. What makes you think you'll walk into this office and get what you want? Does this place look like a bank? Harry, are you mad? What's your problem? I said I am broke. I need 200,000 Naira. Are you giving it to me or not? Stop interrogating me. Are we in a police station? What's your problem? Are you giving me the money or not? You refuse to give me the money. That's why I'm here to get it. Leonard, aren't you ashamed of yourself? Why should I be ashamed of myself? Why? I don't blame you. I blame your mother. Dad, please don't. Don't bring mom into this. Oh, would you shut up, Leonard? Sometimes I doubt if you're truly my son. I give you a hundred million naira business to run. You practically liquidated that company because of your reckless spending. And you're here telling me that 300,000 naira monthly stipend is not enough for you. Are you out of your senses? Now get out of my presence this minute. Get out! So where am I supposed to get the money from? I need money. Go to those animals that sell drugs to you and get some money. Listen, Leonard. If you are not careful of yourself, 
I will be tempted to hand you over to the authorities. I will. Now get out of my presence. Get out. What is the problem with you, Demia? You are supposed to be a prince in this land. Why are you doing things that could be royalty to ridicule? You came into my compound to vomit this nonsense you just said now? Please, Ishonyeka, do not take my leadership for granted. What leadership are you talking about? You've just sold a land that belongs to two families. And you're pretending as if you don't know what I'm talking Listen about. Listen to me, Ishonyeka. I did that family a favor by selling that land to the retired general. Because they were on the verge of killing themselves because of that same land. Now that the land has been sold, I should be applauded. Please. You should be applauded? Yes. You should be applauded for doing what exactly? For solving the problem for them. Listen to me, Shionyeka. Those young men in that family were on the verge of killing themselves. They were fighting because of that land. I have to sell the land to solve the problem for them. Now that the land has been sold, those idiots in that family who cannot find something to do for themselves instead of fighting for lands, now they will adjust accordingly. Okay? Okay. Where is the money you got from the retired general? The money is with me. Do you have a problem with that? Are you not supposed to release this money to the family? At least to arrest the problem that is brewing. And did anybody tell you that I am afraid of problems? No, did anybody tell you that? Go back to them. Confirm to them that the land has been sold and that the money is with me. Now, if they believe they have what it takes to challenge a man like me, let them come asking me for the money. I am here waiting for them. You won't believe this. They treated me like a piece of shit just because I asked for money. But why would you ask for money? I'm aware that you have a monthly allocation of 300,000 Naira. And what makes you think 300,000 Naira would be enough for a guy like me monthly? Come on, Sharon. Give me some credit. I beg your pardon. What did you just call me? Sharon. How dare you call me by my name? What's wrong if I call you by your name? Is Sharon not your name? You are not supposed to be angry because I called you by your name. You know what, Leonard? I am done with this conversation. I want to be left alone. All right. I am not moving an inch until you give me money. And I am not giving you a dime until you learn how to address me properly. Ah. Now I know where you're coming from. I will give it to you. <clears throat> All hail her majesty, Queen Sharon of Enuagu Kingdom. What change the wine of all dynasty? Or do you call them back one number of Enuagu Kingdom? My mother, my mother, peace and blessing. Queen of all things, the most beautiful queen. Enough already. Before my head will burst open, <laughs> I'll give you the money. Wow, thank you very much, Mom. In my next world, you will still be my mom. I'll make you a transfer. Oh, Mom, you are the best. You are the sweetest mom. In fact, you are the greatest mom. In fact, you are my mother, my mother. Leo, Leo. Leo has lost it completely. And if care is not taken, he will one day sell one of the valuable things in this palace just to raise money for his drugs. Chuendo, I am bothered from a different angle. What different angle? I am beginning to feel that we are no longer safe working in this palace. I don't know what you mean by that. Has anyone threatened you yet? Must you be threatened to know you are in danger? That drug addict may one day attempt to rape any of us, or even both of us, mainly when he's high on cocaine. Mega, how could you say such? 
Leo has never looked at me in a way that suggests he's interested in any woman. Because it has not happened already, you not think it will never happen? Chu and wake up! Wake up! Prince Leo is now a full-blown drug addict. And his life is becoming a joke. I am thinking that... Greetings, this is my friend. Friend. I like the smell of the maidens that bear the king's cup. Come to my wing later. I have something nice for you guys. Thank you, my friends. Are you in any way planning to go to his room? He wants to offer us gifts. Are you not going? Why are you mean and heartless? Have you lost it, young man? I should be asking you that question. How could you sell that land? A land that belongs to another family. And you're not even ready to give them back their money. How is that your business? No, when did you start questioning the things I do? Or did, did they brief you as their lawyer? It is my business because you're my father. And I can't have my father doing some crazy and weird things. Thank God. Thank God you now know I am crazy and weird. Now you have to define your boundaries. Stop interfering in the things I do before I cut you into sizes. You can kill me if you want to. I am sure in your heart you know I am telling you the truth. Dad, you are making too many enemies. They might turn around to hunt me. How do you expect me to just relax and keep quiet? Now listen, let me tell you something you don't know. Men who are determined to make money and become famous, they don't think of morality and uprightness. Because money is what makes the world go round. Those men, they strive to make money. Not all this money money people are carrying about. I'm talking about money. Money that makes things happen. When such men have made the money, they can then settle down and defy morality and uprightness their way. And whatever the vision they give stands. That is what you should be thinking. That kind of money. Now listen to me. Open up your brain and begin to think. Think like someone who possibly came from my loins. Mom, I can see you have elected not to say a word. What is going on? Men are talking. I am a woman. Why should I interfere? Why do I have this feeling that my parents are allergic to peace? What else will you stop? Stop! Uh, How could you say a thing like that? I don't know, Cindy. Leave him. Let him continue talking, shouting back at me. Because of this moment money that you think he has, he has started to make. What do you even have? This car that you are driving now, I was the one that put it for you. And because you bought the car I'm driving, I should just keep quiet, knowing full well that you're going astray. Oh, you shut up, Douglas. Is it my husband that is going astray? Get out of this place, please. Leave at once. Stella, I am still tolerating this young man because of you. Call him. Sit him down and talk to him. Before I turn him off. Or kind of give him a man. What do you want? My princess, I just want you and you alone. Is this the rubbish you called me to say? Ha, ah, princess. See, I'm going insane. I'm very close to the palace. Please, can you come out? I'd like to see you, please, my princess. I don't get it. You want to see me where? Listen, if you permit me, I'll come to the palace straight away. I really need to see you, my princess. You know what's happening? You are not going insane. You are insane already. Listen, my princess, you are right. I am insane. You can say whatever you want. I am insane. It's fine. But listen, you are the only one who can cure me right now. I really need to see you, my princess. Mr. Insane, I am done. <sighs> what else can I do to have her back again? She's just the sweetest, and she knows. 
Listen to me, Damien. A man like Ichio Nyeka is not someone you take for granted. Why entangle yourself in a matter that concerns him? My biggest problem with you is that you have continued to undermine me. How? Damien, are you denying that you weren't the one that sold the land to the retired general? Why will I deny it? I was the one that sold the land to the retired general. And that is because I wanted to help the two families. They were on the verge of killing themselves because of that land and I had to sell it off. I should be applauded for what I did. Damien, how much did you collect for the land? How is that your business? I am the one in charge of lands in this kingdom. I have been the one selling all the lands. Even when our father was alive, I was selling land right before him and he never asked me this kind of question. And by that you are telling me I don't know anything at all. Oh, man. Okay, okay, cool. You go on and wait, man. Brothers disagreeing again. What's the problem this time? Sonia, there is no problem. We are trying to streamline something. Are you going out? Yes, Dad. I just want to see a friend. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye, Yonko. Do you know where she's going? Why should I bother myself with such details? Sonia is a mature woman. It is natural I leave her to live her life. What's that like? What just happened here now is one of the reasons I keep telling you you don't know a lot of things. Damien, this meeting is not to talk about my personal life. Let us talk about the land that you sold. And the land I sold is my personal business. If we cannot talk about your personal life, then nobody should discuss my personal business. Damien? Anthony? Yes, I'm coming. Aww. It's so good to see you, baby. I'm glad you came. Please sit down. So tell me, how are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? Yes, I'm cool. And of course, this is the happiest day of my life. I'm so glad you came as promised. I was unable to sleep last night. Really? What happened? Lou is losing it. He, he's deeply into drugs that I'm beginning to feel unsafe in my father's house. Listen, baby. I don't think I want to talk about your brother right now. Because the last time I said he was an addict, I remember how you reacted. You got so mad at me and I wouldn't want that to happen again. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, my dear. But what happened last night got me worried. Last night? What happened? Can you tell me about it? Hey. 
et que au lieu à fond il croit Ayana non est une non au bas golo golo au saguam à chou et ma bé aussi il n'aime going to be very sincere with you. Okay. You are not going to emerge as king in Enwago Kingdom. How can you say a thing like that to be your Kalapo? To the best of my knowledge, there is no man in the entire Olunibu that competes with you when it comes to metaphysical positioning and the repositioning. That is why I'm here. Uh, listen. Wavy, I came prepared. I am ready to pay you anything. Just name it. I will pay. From what I see, we are up against the ancient staff of the kings in Enwago Kingdom. The king is your brother. Is expected to present his successor to the body of kingmakers for approval. That is why I'm here. I don't just want him to present me. No. I want you to come up with something that will make it possible that when he finally presents me to the body of kingmakers, all the men in that body will say an elaborate yes to my candidacy. It boils down to what I said already. The king will not present you. I see him presenting another. Even if he presents you, I see all the decision makers rejecting you. Uh, uh, uh. They see you as an evil man that will sell their kingdom if given the mantle of leadership. Uh, uh, uh. Don't worry about that. We will find a way around it when the time comes. What I want now is for you to look, consult deeper. There must be another way for us to maneuver this many castle. Eh? Look, as I said, I am prepared to pay anything. There must be another way, that's why I'm here. Ita kuri ite watalia wajwanu. Buriburi keje jebe mbagede bagu mbenabo. Oko si me. Asa. Can you do it? Can I do what? Can you share a woman with your son? What? I mean, can you compose yourself and go into a woman that your son will present as his? Really? Why would you want me to do a thing like that? Yeah. <laughs> that remains the only way you can start neutralizing the powers of the staff of the kings. Get that woman that belongs to your son and make sure you conquer her with your manhood. But baby, think about it. Don't you think it's right to tell your father about this? Oh, I don't know how that will sound. He may deny it and my father will think I made it up. Are you serious? 
Like, why would your father think you cooked up such a story? Just think about it. The fact that he's already nursing the, the thought of, of doing something with you. That's dangerous already and something should be done about it, don't you think? I know. Thanks for your concern. I'm really sorry I bothered you with this. It's fine. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Are you sure? Yes. Anyway, I know what to do. I'll fix it. Okay. I'm going to miss you again. I'll miss you too. I love you. <laughs> My brother is something else. A core drug addict. And the worst of it all is my mother is always in support. I understand your pain, my man. But I insist you should not break down because of Liu. He's not worth it at all. I am concerned about my brother. I believe he will definitely change someday. Someday? Yes. When will that day come? Someone who has refused to attend rehabilitation class. Wait, I thought we agreed the last time that he would be locked up in one of the rooms in the palace so as to dry up the desire of the drugs from his vein. So what then happened? We did, but my mother let him out. I don't even know why my mother is handling these things like this when she understands the dangers of banned substances. Don't worry, bro. Everything will be fine again. That I believe. I'm here. Hmm. I am not happy with what your brother told me. Which of my brothers? How many times will I tell you that Leo the one that has human sympathy is the one you should call brother. Henry is a miserable capitalist whose interest is just in piling up money. You cannot call a stone-hearted man your brother. But he's still my brother. I agree with you that Henry is not the best when it comes to releasing money. But he's doing that for the family. Mom, I feel it's uncharitable for you to refer to him as stone-hearted just because he doesn't want to throw around the family's money. Well, Sonia, I did not call you here to discuss that fool. So why did you call me? If it's about you, I'm not interested. I will just leave you here and go back to my room. Why do I have this feeling that you like Henry more than Leo? And why do I have this feeling that you love Leo more than Harry? You dare ask me a question when you have not even answered mine? Mom, please. Please, Mom. You know, you don't like talking about Harry, just as I don't like talking about Leo. So please, Mom, if it's about Leo, you call me here. I'm not interested. Good day. Look at this girl. Why is she so useless? She did not even allow me open the topic. Why must he interfere in my business? Why? Do you remember that he is your king? You see, other people may elect to look down on the king. You, his brother, you never do a thing like that. And unfortunately, nobody looks down on the king. Yes. He is the one that holds the sacred staff of the kings. And we know that obedience to the king comes with blessings. Yes, exactly. You see, anyone who practically worships the king stands the chance of sitting with kings. And even becoming a king listen, someday. Listen, I am not going to worship Anthony. I have been the one teaching him the do's and don'ts of royalty. Yes. I was the one that taught him how to sanctify with the staff. He does not know I was the one that taught him. Yes. Anthony should be the one worshipping me. Mm -mm. 
then we are there you miss it. He cannot worship you, for he is the custodian of the staff. And as he stands, he is the head of this kingdom. And, and because he is the head of this kingdom by your interpretation, he will not start to interfere in my business. Who is Anthony? When our father was alive, I was already selling lands here in this kingdom. And he never challenged me. No, who is Anthony to begin to challenge me now? Damien, it is true. Your father never challenged you while he was alive. But Damien, do you understand? I mean, are you aware that a greater percentage of people in this land are not happy with you? And did you read it anywhere that I am happy with them? Listen to me. We live in a free world. People are free to like or hate anyone. It is not my business. They don't like me. They don't feel happy with me. I equally don't like them. Now, if this is the reason for this meeting, please, I just ended it. This meeting has ended. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but Damien, 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 Damien. You know deep down in your heart that we are telling you the truth. And now, but I'm telling you here and now that I don't want to hear that truth. Why is it difficult for you to understand? Hello, man. Hey! <laughs> My parents are finding pressure on me to present the woman in my life. And I'm thinking of taking you home in the oh. next couple of days. Wow. <laughs> That's so sweet. So tell me, what are we going? Soon. You see, I'm going to surprise my mother with your visit. Because I actually told her that I wasn't thinking of any woman yet. Really? I understood from what she said that my dad is also interested in it. Okay, so tell me, <clears throat> are you having issues with your dad? Mm, not actually a problem, but my dad seizes every opportunity to remind me that he made me. So I want to prove to him that I can make it in life without him. Come on, baby. You, if you will listen to me, it's not good having issues with your dad, okay? It's not. Let that be my headache, Vivian. Okay. Baby, there's a birthday party I want to attend with you. A birthday party? Yes. A friend of mine. So, um, do I know him? No, you don't. I have so many friends. That is why I want you to know them all, so that they will toast you whenever they see you. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Stop it, you're funny. Toast words. Stop, please. Nobody's know that, toasting me. But you know that is the truth. And anyway, for any possible assistance, in case they see you somewhere and you need help. Wow, that sounds so romantic. And okay. you know you have a romantic way of saying that. You can say that again. So what do you say? Are you cool with the RV? Absolutely. Who would not be? That's I'm gay. You know, I like fun. <laughs> so tell me, what do you care for? reasons mom is angry with Harry is because of his thrifty way of managing money. And you really think I would like to disclose that? Listen, I just received the audited accounts of the companies yesterday. And sincerely, I feel like buying Henry another brand new car. Why? Henry has turned the fortunes of the company around. Banks are following up on what it does. For the first time in a long while, they've written to me offering us loans, which Henry is not even willing to take. So, your conclusion is that he's doing well? Exactly. And I want you to support him, Sonia. Do not join your mother in giving him problems. If there is anything you need, Go to him as your elder brother, and I am sure he will attend to you. Come in! Who is that? Hey! Look at you. You're 
look so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> so how was work today? Work was fine. Mm. Uh, yeah. That's nice. I thought you were pulling my legs. I never knew you would make it. But you know me, I'm a very serious person. Once I tell you I'm coming, I'm definitely coming. And that is why I love you. I want to know you. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you call me that, you just throw me off balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> work was fine. I decided to see the love of my life before heading back to the park. Thank you. That reminds me. I saw your brother the other day, Leo. He and his friends were beating up one man outside in the Cosmo. Why? What could be his reason? I mean, what did the man do? I wouldn't know. I did not go to verify. It was a sordid sight, honey. I can imagine that pathetic picture of a prince beating up a man with, of course, his gang of drug addicts. My love, you need to speak to your brother. He's gradually losing his mind. But you know I have been trying. I have been talking to my brother. It's just that he feels everyone is insane. My love, please, try harder, okay? Let me get you something to eat. Uh, it's, don't worry, I, I'll just do that when I get home, okay? Okay. Bye. Love you. I love you too. Alright. Be safe. Yeah, I will. Drive safe. I will. Was he alone when he came with his gang? I don't know. It's possible he came with other people, but he was the only one I saw. Besides, he was the only one who confronted me, so I, I didn't see any other person. This is becoming embarrassing. And my main problem is that my mom will see nothing wrong in this. But what about your dad? Can't you talk to him about this? Dad is aware. That's why he fired him from his fame. He was on the verge of liquidating the fame. But, but what about your elder brother? He hasn't said anything about all this. I mean, does he not see the embarrassment Prince Liu is bringing upon your family? Talk to him. Prince Harry is tired. He has not been given the cooperation he needs to succeed. I don't know what to do. I don't. Listen, my love. But at this point, I think I should do as he said. Maybe I should make him my friend and see if I can change him from, from within. No. You won't do that. Leo is my brother. I am in a position to tell you that he's a bad influence. I haven't told you he's been sleeping with one of the girls that serve in the palace. You're not serious, are you? I mean, that's absurd. <laughs> How would you do such? It is for you to know the kind of person you want to make your friend. Your brother is terrible. I won't allow that to happen. There should be another way out to solve this problem. Wait for Kalabu. I have not come here for us to start to negotiate. No. I came prepared. What I have in this briefcase is one million naira cash. That money is enough to buy what I want. Because money answered all things. Actually, that is my best verse in the Bible. This money here is yours. In fact, the briefcase is equally yours. I want you to get busy. Send the breeze of death to our palace in Inuago. I want my brother Anthony dead now. But the said Anthony may not know the powers he waits. Exactly! He does not know anything. I have been the one guiding him. He came back from New Jersey right at the verge of the time I was about to become king and bribed his way to the throne. I have been tolerating him all this while. I am sick and tired of tolerating him. I don't want to tolerate him again. I want him dead. Unfortunately, 
You cannot terminate the life of anyone that is with the staff of the kings. I've already told you what to do. Why haven't you done it? I have not done it because my said son is more committed to challenging me. He has no woman anywhere for us to even cheer. Don't you understand what I'm saying? The idiot has no woman. So who are we going to share? Then, marry a woman in his name and impose her on him. The truth is that you and your son must go into the same woman. Before you stand the chance of neutralizing the powers of the staff of the kings. He's my friend. Men come back to their houses to eat something nice and rest. Why can't I do so in my house? Why? You still haven't answered my question. What question, please? Damien, why were you staring at your son's girlfriend in that manner? What manner? What are you insinuating, woman? What? Are you denying it? Enough! Enough, woman! Don't provoke me. What does it are you asking me? What is this? Now what is going on here? Are you not supposed to be in the kitchen preparing what I'm going to eat? And you are standing here asking me nonsense? Damien, swear on your life that you weren't lost in after that innocent girl. I should swear. What? Oh, Damien. I should swear. Why are you this pathetic? You are the one that is pathetic. You know, I know what you're planning. You want to provoke me to the extent that I will slap you. And for you not to go in there and cook what I will eat. Don't worry, I'm not going to slap you. Because you will go in there and cook what I will eat. Nonsense. Stand here and keep looking for who is pathetic. Damien, are you walking out on me? I know it! I know you have to tell the truth. Come back here! You wait here, Damien! Come back here! Come back here! Where is he? Where is that criminal? Where is he? Sorry, my prince. Who are you talking about? What is going on here? Mom, thank God you're here. What is it? Leo went into my room and took a thousand dollars. How are you sure he was the one that took Mom? You know he's the only criminal we have in this place. Will you shut up? Mom! I said shut up! <clears throat> Here he is. Where is my $1,000 you took from my room? Son, did you remove money from his room? Um, Sharon, sorry mom. I... I take what I need. And I owe no one any explanation or apology. Did you hear that mom? Did you hear that? Listen, I took the money because I'm entitled to it. And you and Dad are becoming very selfish and annoying. Excuse me. Will you give me my money? What do you want to do? You want to fight your brother in the presence of these palace mates? Is it not before the same palace mates that he agreed that he's a thief? Listen. I am not a thief. Ah. I took what rightfully belongs to me. And don't forget, it's not your money. So you have no right to question me. You will give me my money. Mom, relax. I'm coming. Let me beat him. Have you forgotten how single born? Come. I will beat you like a baby. Come. 
Ma fait combien I'm really disappointed, mom. Your son has become a thief and you're not even bothered. Mm, mm. Sonia, please, mind your choice of words. My son is not a thief. They conspired and denied him of his rights, which he wants to take back. Why are you giving it their interpretation? There is no such thing like their interpretation, Mom. Leo sneaked into Henry's room and stole his money. Please, stop calling any money Henry's money. Henry does not have anything in this family. Stop getting me angry, please. Seriously, Mom. You are beginning to confuse me so much. Henry is the first son in this family. He's the one that has been managing the family businesses. For he's the one in charge, and he's the one that pays us all. Why would you say he doesn't own anything? Why must he be the one in charge? Okay, agreed. Leo is a bit unstable because of his addiction. But what about you? Why are you not in the business? I am not in the business because I want to own my own fashion line. Henry has asked me to join him and I refused. Mom, why are you supporting Leo? Why? <clears throat> I can see you are senseless. Yes. <clears throat> I wanted to give you $200 from that money. But because of what you said, you won't get a dime. <laughs> Even if I need a thousand dollars, I will ask Dad or Brother Henry, and they will give it to me. I don't need your stolen money. Um, stolen what? Um. No! 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 So, what was that? Were you actually? going to beat your sister. Are you not disappointed that she left without a slap? But she needs it more. Be, um. Douglas, you don't understand. Leo is just a bone in my neck. I do understand. He is also my brother, and I know him too well. But just like your father told you, forget it. You are bigger than that money. And that's not the reason he would have it. All you knows how to do is drink, smoke, take hard drugs, and then visit Pastor Cabin to patronize his high-class sex workers. Is that not madness? You will be shocked that $1,000 will not last a week in his hands. It is all right, my brother. Please, take it easy. All others might castigate and abandon him, but we should be seen as the ones defending him. For we are family. Please, let it go, all right? Look at how easy it is for you to say, Douglas, because it is not your money. I am equally certain that you will not join others in taking a brother to the cleaner just because he took a thousand dollars. Harry, please, forget this thing and move on. You mean to tell me you left your house or place of work just to tell me what you just said? Chief Matthew, are, are you this jobless? I do not mean to offend you, my king. I went to Oze Bonoba, the Dikan of Ogunaiwan of Abami Kingdom, to ask questions about me and my family. Rather than tell me about me and my family, he started talking about you and your family. Uh, listen, I don't have any business with Abomimi. And I don't want this meeting to continue. A king of your pedigree should not dismiss a seer as mighty as Ozo Ibonaba. I am a new Jesse trained accountant. And I have no business with what anybody sees. Apart from Leo, who has decided to make himself useless with banned substances, I have a very stable family. And I would not want anybody to say anything stupid about my family. Your Majesty, it will not cost you anything to drive down to Abomey Kingdom and see the man. Uh, Mr. Paul, 
I am done with the meeting that was delaying me. We can now talk. Daddy, I am surprised you're asking me all these questions. I don't know this woman. I did not even see her. I feel the best person you should ask is Douglas. He brought her here, not me. You are sounding as if you don't know your brother. If I should ask him to say anything about that woman, he will not say anything serious. Listen, don't give me that face. There is nothing wrong in a man desiring to run a bank grand shake on the woman that will most likely be his daughter-in-law. Just, just to run a bank grand shake on her, that's all. Okay, um, now I understand. But like I said before, Daddy, I did not see her. I don't even know her. When Douglas comes, don't worry, I'll ask him. At least, I'll, okay, I'll ask him for her phone number. Is that okay? Good. If, if I can get her phone number, then I am good. <laughs> Cindy, Cindy. <laughs> Leo, where is my key? Why are you acting like you're not the one I'm talking to? I kept my key there and I cannot find it. Where have you kept it? I kept it where you will never set your eyes on it until you give me the money I asked for. You want me to give you more money? Leo, are you telling me that you, 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 you finished spending the $1,000 you stole from me? You want me to give you more money? Oh, I see. So you have now devised a new crooked means of getting money from me. <clears throat> hey, what's your problem? I don't get it. I mean, you should be grateful that you have a brother that is only bent on making himself happy. Learn to give me money each time I ask and we will be best of friends. Besides, it's, it's not even your money. It's our father's money. So what's the biggie? Nobody will continue to give you money that way in this family. For we know what to do with money. Who called? I will, I will pull your wig. I will pull your wig. Who called you here? If you don't want to end up in prison, let this be the last time you make attempt to lay your hands on our sister. Ha! Our sister. Like she's my enemy. Oh, you want her to feel you love her more, right? I have not come to exchange words with you. Let me have my car key. You will never set your eyes on that key until you give me the money I asked for. Here is your car key. I found it where you hid it. So you've been searching through my things. You did what? Get back. Hey, what is wrong with you? Ozu ebo nu oba dika na gbo gunanya of abomeme what about him i know him very well good from what you know about him is this someone that could abandon what he is asked to do and begin to see other people why have you refused to do the right thing i don't know what you mean by that what is the right thing that i'm not doing and when it comes to our custom, our tradition, the ordinances handed down by our fathers, Anthony, you don't know anything. You rely on me for practically everything. Look at a man as elevated as Ozo Ebunuoba, Dikana Ogunanya of Abomme. You don't even know him. And you are parading yourself as king. Damien, what exactly is the basis of your argument? What? Okay. If you hand over the staff of the kings to me, for me to continue running as king in this kingdom from where you stopped, will you die before your time? Damien, could this be the rubbish you've been thinking? It's not rubbish. Damien, how is that even possible? It is very possible. You are the one who sees it as an impossibility, but it is very possible. Just. Call the elders in council, the body of kingmakers. Tell them that you have realized you don't know anything as a king. That you want to hand over to your brother who knows it all. 
you have realized that you are leading us astray as a king. That your brother is the one that will lead us in the right direction because he knows it all. And then I am going to turn this kingdom around. For good, you will be happier for it. Why are you not thinking about it? If you do it, Anthony, will you die before your time? Damien, your desperation will not take you anywhere. My desperation will not take me anywhere. Because this idiot is calling me desperate. Well, this is only one of the options. We will continue to explore all the options available. Relax. You have original ones. So. What is wrong with you? Are you okay? Are you okay at all? I'm fine. I just wanted to test it and be sure they are original ones now. You know we have so many fake boobs and acts everywhere. Nice one, original, no silicone. This is really nice. What is going on here? He, he just came from nowhere and touched my boobs and my ass. You did what? What? What is what? What the uh, heck? Relax. For once, I'm impressed. You got this one right. I just, you know, let me see if, if, if they are real. We have fake things everywhere. And to my greatest surprise, they are all real. The boobs, real. The ass, real. You got this one. Are you mad? You got this one. I'm asking you a question. Are you mad? What is, are you mad? You're supposed to be grateful thanking me because I examined her. Okay, do you know how much doctors collect to check if the boobs are real? I did it for you now, free of charge. Will, will, you, will you shut up, you? So you put this drug-stained hands on, 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 on my woman? Relax. Is she not our wife? She's our wife. If you die now, Nkuchieye. So it's our wife. Relax. I just helped you check something. Good afternoon, how are you? You've got a nice place here. Thank you, sir. You know, I know exactly what is running through that head of yours. First of all, you are wondering how did he get my address? And then you wonder, what is he doing in my house? Two of us. You're right. Please, can we be seated? Please. You see, one thing about me that has endeared me to all is that I say things exactly the way they are. You know, one advantage is that it solves a lot of problems for me. You're right. On the strength of that, I am going to tell you right away that you are an amazing beauty and you are qualified. I mean, you have all it takes to be around a man like me. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Um, what can I offer you? Don't worry about what you can offer me, my dear. In my nature, I go straight to the point. I am just praying that you are not going to misunderstand me. I still don't understand, sir. Well, I am going to be very direct. 
As I said, I am hoping you wouldn't misunderstand me. I, I want to experience the woman in you. What? Is that coming from you? My dear, don't feel offended. But sex is business. It has become so big a business that in some other parts of the world, different categories of licenses are given to different categories of commercial sex workers. You understand what that means? I'm sorry, Sabo. Why are you telling me all this? I am telling you because I, I believe you have all it takes for a woman to make all the money she needs. You have to understand that for a man like me to come here telling you this simply means I have given it a thought and I have come to the conclusion that it is something we can do together. It is something that is going to be between you and I. Nobody will know about it. Okay? I am going to teach you how you are going to make a lot of money with what God has given you. It is all about money. You are going to make a whole lot of money with this. But it has to start with me. So I want to ask you, how much should I pay for a start? With due respect, sir, I'm going out with your son. You shouldn't be telling me all this. Unfortunately, I am telling you already. And for me to be telling you simply means it is something we can do. They call it shop and clean mouth. You go talk to anybody, you will not. Needless to tell you that I am the head of the mafia that sits right on top of all the land deals in this kingdom. I am a man sitting on a mountain of money. And we are talking of real money. I am not just going to solve your personal problems. I am equally going to solve your family problems. The only thing I require of you is to open it up so that we can get serious with this deal. And trust me, my dear, you will smile to the banks. I swear on my life, my friend, he was the one who started it. He will come me into his room. And once I come in, he will push me into his bed. And you never mentioned it to anyone? Are you this useless? I am sorry, Your Majesty. I didn't want to report the prince. I was afraid that he might get angry. For how long have you been doing this? Since... He was stopped from managing the company, my friend. This is unbelievable. You mean you've been sleeping with my son for seven months now? No, Your Majesty. I never tried to seduce him. He has been the one sleeping with me. What is going on here? Sonia, can you believe that this loose maiden has been sleeping with Lou for seven months now. Is that why she's standing here in judgment? I beg your pardon? Where is the food that lured her into it? Is that all you have to say? I'm sorry, mother. But I will not allow a woman to suffer for a crime she committed with a man. Leo has no right to sleep with a maiden that bears the cup of the king. He knows they cannot resist him. If there should be any punishment, Leo should be the one getting it, not this helpless maiden. Get out. What? Are you out of it, huh? Sonia! You just dismissed a maiden while I am still talking to her? How dare you? That useless son of yours that calls himself my brother had actually made passes at me. No. I want you to repeat what you just said. 
You heard me right, mother. Leo is very sick. He should be the one we should be dealing with, not this helpless maiden that is doing everything possible to keep a job. Very good, my son. This is brilliant. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Father. I am so proud of you. <laughs> oh, Father. I am more proud to have you as my father. How oh, I wish your brother is as sane as you are. I have been thinking about that too, Father. I have come to see reasons with Mom. Leo will not be this useless forever. I believe someday he will change. You think so? Hope is all we've got. I doubt it. Father, I don't need you to bother yourself. We have a technical business we need to pull through. We need all the concentration we can monster. You are right, my son. Thank you. Father, I'll call the accounts officer before the end of business today. There is need to dismantle the fixed deposit. Calculate and withdraw the interest, then fix the principal again. You are in charge, my son. Decide what is good for the company and pursue it. Thank you very much, Father. You're welcome. Yeah. I'll see you before the end of today. All right. Thank you. I know why you're possibly doing this. Maybe because you believe that if you resist him, you will lose your job. That's not true. Leo cannot influence any decision in this palace. You have to start resisting him now, else you will lose that same job you are trying to keep. Thank you very much, my princess. I appreciate your kind words. Just that I don't know what to do. You don't know how to resist a fool that has been taking advantage of you? <laughs> Please, Chimwindu, don't tell me. But well, that is the truth. I am just a maid here. Leo is a prince. I don't know how to resist a prince. Why do I feel you are enjoying this? Why? I am not enjoying it. Just can't resist him either. Please, can you help me talk to the king? Tell him what? That he should issue a royal order preventing the prince from asking me to come to his room. You are just a fool. Shut up, my dear. You know, it is amazing how you have exhibited this level of maturity and expertise. I am so impressed, and I'm not disappointed at all. Thank you, sir. <laughs> now it's time for the real transaction. As a digital man, I am going to handle it the digital way. Hmm? You will like it. <laughs> I say what I want to do and I do what I say. <laughs> Wow. Ah! Thank you, sir. Thank you. 500,000 Naira. Thank you. That is just a little, my dear. That is just more will come. You know, you kid me when you said I should give you whatever that I like. Girls with your kind of spirit will always get the best from men like me. You, Thank you. You turn us to pay masters instantly. 
<laughs> more of it will just fall on you, continue to fall on you as long as you continue allowing me access to that sweet, beautiful cake of yours. Thank you. <laughs> I have to believe it now, but let me let me tell you something I believe you know. This is our little secret. Nobody hears it. Whatever that happens behind closed doors must remain behind closed doors. You know what I mean? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Thank you exactly for what you did. I will continue to come. Thank you, I sir. I will continue to come. And you will continue to smile. <laughs> come on, look, you know, my dear. <laughs> Thank you. Ah! 500,000 naira. No wonder girls go for sugar daddies. They surely know how to pay away. Who is there? Hey, baby. Hi, Dave. How are you? I'm fine. What was my father doing here? Your father? Yes. I don't get it. I saw him driving out. What would your dad be doing here? Besides, he doesn't even know here. I thought about that. Come on, babe. Maybe you saw his kind of car. Vivian, I know what I saw. It is his car. And he was driving out when I was driving in. In fact, I parked at the same spot that he parked. Uh, I don't know, but you know, so many people live in this compound. Maybe he went somewhere else. I've been home all day. Your dad did not come here. Anyway, let's forget about that. So, how are you doing? Come I'm on. fine, baby. I miss you. I missed you too. <laughs> what are you doing doing all day? I don't know. I've been at some orchard. I have done exactly what you instructed. I was able to locate the woman that my son has been going into. And I can confirm to you authoritatively that I've equally gone into her. Can the process start now? Okay, it's not going to go to them. It's a culite, what an amarombada, a cube wunian obu. Bulbulkeja jebem bade bagum benabo. Oh, cosime, Kadifa gemma bane was so angry. Mm -hmm. The process cannot start. Why? Your son has not gone into that woman in the real sense of the word. Are you serious? Hey! Does it mean I have a useless man as a son? You mean he has been parading that babe as his woman and he has not experienced the woman in her? Can we get the money neighbor? He has been experiencing the woman in her, if I should go by your word. But he has been using condom. It, uh... His fluid has not mixed with hers. Can you imagine a secret? Yes. As it is, that woman is yours. How? Because you first went into that woman before your son. So you must do everything possible to make him do the same. Hey! Hey! Ubi Vokarap. As a man, as a man who controls supernatural powers from the four cardinal points, 
I know you can advise me. What should I do to solve this problem? I don't know. I no longer want to discuss the staff of the case. That staff can do a lot of things. And I don't want to be caught in the middle. What sort of question is that? It is a simple question that were you at Vivian's place? Stella, can you hear the useless question this useless sort of yours is asking me? Can you hear that? But Saul, you still haven't told me why you were asking. I saw a car that looks exactly like that car. Driving off the gate just the moment I was driving in. So because you saw a car that looks like my car, you stupidly concluded it must be me? What? Does it mean his brain is touched with, with sand? Or oh, Azuzu? Is that, is that correct? Um, okay, Damien. Were you in any way around her vicinity during the day? What? Stella, what nonsense! No, what are both of you implying? That I'm going to see Vivian in her place? For what? Do you know Vivian? Do you know her place? Have I been there before? What are you asking me? Let this be the very last time you will call me out to ask me this nonsense. Both of you. Be very, very careful. What insult is this? Don't provoke me, both of you. Mom, the car I saw is that scar. I can bet my money on that. Please, pay me off the tails. You don't know anything. Listen, you better don't try this outside. Accuse anyone when you're not sure. Some guys will take you to another level entirely. I brought you here for a purpose. Not something elaborate. Oftentimes I wonder what my life would have been without you. Baby, <laughs> without you, life would have been incomplete. Hmm. I look backwards in time and I recall the memorable moments you and I have shared together. Don't flatter me. I don't deserve you. I don't deserve a perfect gentleman like you. Thank you. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for being there for me. And thank you for being an outstanding friend. woman in the world at the moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you so much. I should be the one thanking you for making me the envy of all men. <laughs> um, Oko, my mom has been giving me the impression that I can become the next king. Please tell me. Is it possible for me to become the next king instead of my brother? Why am I the one you are asking this? Why do you ask your father? My father. Come on. My father can't even bless a cook not. He knows nothing. Even this fool, this drug addict, knows his father doesn't know anything. Uncle, you're woke, you're not saying a word. Talk to me. Can I become the next king? Instead of my brother again. Look, you know I am the one who is grounded when it comes to our custom and our tradition in this land. I have been the one guiding your father. 
in practically all things, based on what you know, don't you think I am the one who will emerge king? Uncle, what did you say? Are you also scheming to become king? Be very careful with your choice of words, young man. What do you mean? I was born into royalty. And I have lived in royal circle all my life. I understand practically everything. Why would you say I have been, uh, whether I am scheming to be king? I was born a king. Are you serious? Please, sir, sorry to ask. King of Bangladesh, kingdom. I will call you right back. Just, I will call you now. Young man, sit back here and wait for me. I want to understand exactly what is running through that kind of yours. Let me just take care of this business very efficiently. Why are they all interested in the truth? Is there something about this thing that I don't see? Listen, if you like the land, go ahead and pay. 100 million naira is the last price for that land. Once I receive the credit alert, I will dismantle all the security structures we have set around the land. You can move in and take over. In fact, you can start to work immediately. Let me put it mildly. I am the owner of this kingdom. I am the one who sits at the helm of all the land deals in this land. And anyone I supervise is sealed. Uh -huh. Say what you want to say, I'm listening. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll call you back. Sonia! Uncle, I hope no problem. No problem at all. You look extremely glamorous. I must confess. Thank you. Uh, not so fast. Uncle, I'm in a hurry. I'm going to a very important meeting. Hey, listen to me. You are the princess of this kingdom. I don't know why you're avoiding me. You are supposed to benefit from the revenue we have in this land. Or are you claiming you don't know I'm the one in charge of kingdom revenue? Why are you not, why are you not coming close? Really? I thought you men said women are not part of the kingdom revenue. Who said? Why are you listening to people? Am I the one in charge? Did I exclude you? You are the one avoiding me. And that is not fair at all. Listen, tomorrow, I want you to come to my place. I need to make you a part of the revenue structure of this kingdom. In fact, there are important documents I, I need to show you. Ooh. Yes. That sounds great. What time? Um, around 11 a.m. When my wife is not there. You know, she has a way she behaves, and I wouldn't want her to behave that way. You know, she wouldn't like to see me showing you crucial revenue documents. I just want us to handle it in a mature way. So come by that time. Okay, okay, eh? Uncle. I'll be there. You need to be there. Thank you. <laughs> look at this, look at this mug. This girl has become something else right under my nose. Hey! Where is she? Where is that criminal? That vagabond! That good-for-nothing, useless idiot of a son! Where is he? Your Majesty, why are you shouting? Where is that criminal? Where is your son? Which of my sons? You should know the one that could get me mad like this. Where is that criminal of a son? What has he done this time? That crackhead stole the document of the land on the express. What? I just got a confirmation from the land office that he has sold the land. My goodness. Who could have assisted him do that? I know that Leonard on his own cannot do it. That is irrelevant. Where is your son? Where is he? Well, I don't know. 
I've not seen him this morning. I am really surprised at myself. How come I have not been looking? Look at you, Sonia. Beautiful daughter of my brother. You have indeed become a goddess. <laughs> and a man like me will not want to worship in your temple just once. I want to worship in your temple for the remaining days of my life. Do you have a problem with that? Oh. I don't know what to say, but at least thanks for the compliment. Good. Please, can you come and sit down and tell me what you want to take? I'm fine here. Thank you. Um, can we please go to the business that brought me here? Even your voice descends like morning dew. Sonia, you are a total package when it comes to the classification of feminine beauty. And it will actually uh, Please, uncle, wait. Since when did this sudden familiarity start? Well, I sense the confusion. But if you permit me, I am going to make you understand everything right now. Understand what? Where is the document relating to the kingdom revenue you asked me to come and see? Sonia, right here in this living room right now, there is something mightier than all the documents on planet Earth. That thing is you. How do you mean? <laughs> I promise you on my honor to make you a leading force in the revenue structure of this kingdom. You know it yourself that I am the one in charge of kingdom revenue. I will make you a leading force and you will have enough money to do whatever you want. I just want you to come up to my level, understand what I want us to do, you know, like two mature people. We can. What are you talking about? Look at her. Beautiful, Sonia. You know, I... I want you to be my girl. I want you to grant me unhindered access into all the departments of your body. You know what I'm talking about? I will make you richer than you are right now. <laughs> money. Money we speak in a clear language. If only you will agree. Have you lost your mind? What? I'm talking money. With all this rubbish you have said and done, you've confirmed that you also want to sleep with me. What? What is wrong with all of you in this family? I, I don't know who else is interested. I can only speak for myself. Listen, Sonia. A beautiful woman like you going into a relationship with the uncle is something that is, is commonplace. You don't see it as something that never happened before. It has been happening. It only becomes an abomination when we are careless with our operations and people notice. But with your exposure, with everything about you, I know you have what it takes for us to start it and actually keep it a secret. You are so disgusting and stupid. Really? In your life, do not make this useless mistake again. I won't like the way I will handle it. She ever missed your nonsense. It is not always the best to resist me. Because I am going to involve a lot of things in it. How did you find out? I got a call from Donatus. He told me what happened. But how did he know? He works in the Ministry of Lands, remember? Leonard sold the land that I wanted to give to Sonia to set up a, a, a fashion office. 
So what do we do? How do we retrieve this land from the buyer before he builds on it? The only thing we can do now is to give the buyer the money that he gave to that fool. Why? Anything to the contrary will see Liu end up in prison. He forged a lot of documents, including raising fraudulent affidavits, just to sell the land. Who is selling all these fraudulent ideas to Leonard? Honestly, I don't know where I went wrong that such a useless boy ended up as my son. It's okay, father. You have to come down before your BP goes up again. You would come back to this house and when he does. She had the guts to insult me simply because I wanted to worship in her temple. Who does she think she is? Who? What are you busy thinking? A man of Enuago is in his house in Enuago thinking. How is that your business? You're my husband. And that automatically makes it my business. Well, I can confirm to you that what I am thinking has nothing to do with a wife or whatever a wife represents. You haven't done anything about it. Okay. Confirm to me that it is what you're thinking, and I will allow you to think some more. You can walk out on me for all I care. I will keep drumming it into your ears. You should be happy you married a woman like me. A woman who is ready to push you to greatness. Prove to me that you are ambitious, and I will let you be. Does it mean you are allergic to peace? Why did you have to arrest my son? He is equally my son, you know. A time must always come in a family where men will rise to the occasion and arrest any obvious situation. That is exactly what I have done. You arrested my son because he sold one miserable piece of land. Why have you not arrested Damien who has sold Practically half of Inuago. Sharon, I am not here for any useless argument. I wanted to pay back the money it took for the land, but not anymore. It must remain in police custody until it pays back the money. Why are you pretending as if you were not the one who planned everything? You give me the impression that you're a good boy. Meanwhile, you are the devil's incarnate. You were here and you watched them take your only brother away. Listen to me, Henry. I'll forget every other thing. But you see, this wickedness you have exhibited to your brother, I will never forget. Don't allow her to kill you with her words. I'm glad that he's doing this. Come, there's something I need to show you. No, sir. Yes, I'm in his office right now. No, 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 he just stepped out. Hey, baby. What was that? 
Better stay. Who are you talking to? Oh, that was my friend Suzanne. Suzanne? Yes, Suzanne. Are you okay? Babe, is there a problem? Or you just don't believe me? Vivian. Baby, you just called me by my name. Are you cheating on me? No. Why would I do such? I mean, come on. Why would I do such to you? I'm not cheating on you. I'm not. You know who my father is, right? Yes, I do. Listen to me. I am a man who is exposed to all the dynamics of power. If something is not right in my thoughts, then it is not right in reality. Is there anything you're doing that is not right? <laughs> Baby, you're confusing me right now, and I, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. Yeah, don't. How exactly will I make him to start entering a woman like a proper man of a Nuago kingdom? Your food is served. Sit. I thought you said you're very hungry. Why not come and eat your food now that it's still hot? Tell us something else but ask me. And what could that be? Our son, Douglas. Since he started going out with women, why is it that we have never had a case where one of the women, at least one, came here to say our son has got her pregnant? Why? What kind of question is that? Very important question. Very, very important question. Are you by any means insinuating that our son is not man enough? I don't know if I'm insinuating here. I am just trying to be sure that our son enters women like a proper man of Inua good that he is. Please come and eat your food. I miss you. I miss you too. Thank God for coming into my life. You have no idea what I'm going through in the palace, especially from the hands of my brother Leo. What exactly is wrong with your brother? Why can't it just change for, for good, from one trouble to another? I don't know. Honestly, So, what's your father's plan? I mean, how long does he intend to have Leo locked up? I don't know. I don't know his state of mind. But I know he's still very angry. But the worst thing is, my mother thinks I advised my father to have Leo locked up. And how is that supposed to be a problem? Even if you advised him, is it not the best thing to do? That ill-mannered brother of yours is practically destroying everything. My mother does not see it from that perspective. She believes that the enemies of our family turned Leo into a drug addict just to get back at her. And one way or the other, she believes she would fix him. Well, that's an extreme angle. I don't know what to say. You'll be fine, my love, okay? Come here. <laughs> mm. Does it not mean anything to you that my son slept in a police custody? I have told you not to bother me with that irrelevant topic. I have told you. Are you kidding me? That your son slept in a police cell 
with hardened criminals. Is that what you call a relevant topic? What has come over you, Anthony? Sharon, I should be asking you that question. Your criminal of a son sold my property and all you could do is to support him. What kind of a mother have you become? And what kind of a father would allow his son sleep in a dingy police cell? A prince for that matter. He deserves to be in whatever condition he has found himself. He is a criminal. That he slept with his fellow criminals means nothing to me. As far as I'm concerned, he is a criminal. My son is not a criminal. Leonard is a criminal and you know it. You know what, Anthony? You must release him. Keep hoping. I got your text. And I'm still wondering, why are you doing this? I'm still wondering why you are dragging your feet. Add that class when you saw the and trust me, you will like the end of this day. Uncle Damien, we have no deal. What you are making is an abominable request. And I'm telling you here and now that if you keep on prodding me, I'll be forced to open up to people. You are lying. There is nothing like a revenue structure. You invited me to your house to show me some documents, which you never did. And that is because you never gave me the chance to show you documents. That's why I am now inviting you to just, you know, carry this hotel. I've sent you a test, you have the address already. Meet me there and then we can be playing as in class to the papers. I'm not going to meet you in any hotel. I'm really very angry with your father right now. He has refused to do anything towards bailing my son. Excuse me. You want him to be released just like that? Do, do you know the exact land he sold? He sold the land my father wanted to give me for my fashion office. Oh, really? So because your father planned to give you that piece of land, my son should die there, right? Damien, who has become Come a billionaire by selling every land in sight. Has your father arrested him? Mom, Uncle Damien is into land racketeering. He has been doing that before I was born. He has never sold any of the family property. <laughs> Why can't you see that what Leo did is different from what Uncle Damien has been doing? Sonia, it is so obvious that you have been brainwashed. Mom, nobody brainwashed me. <laughs> it is even uncharitable for you to say such, such a thing. I'm telling you the truth. I know my father will bail him, but I am of the opinion that you should let him remain there, at least for him to learn some lessons. What? What is the meaning of this? It might interest you that your brother, Prince Damien, bailed my son. What? Why would he do that? I know you'll be confused and surprised, but deal with it. My major concern is my son. So let's go. Thanks a lot, sexy Sharon. Oh, sorry. Thanks a lot, Mom. Listen, I like the look on your face. Surprise, surprise. This is just the beginning. Bet. Come, Naka. Come. Have you seen the fool you went and brought out? Sharon, why are you daring me in this palace? Why? I am not daring you. I'm concerned about my son.
How dare you, Damien? How could you have done a thing like that? How could you? What is come over you, your majesty? Why are you shouting? How could you let the prince of this kingdom sleep in police custody? That is absolutely unheard of. That is dehumanizing. You shouldn't be saying that. Oh, like Damien, did you care to ask what he did? I am talking to you. Did you care to ask? Whatever he did is not worth it. He is a prince. He is a prince of this kingdom. Listen. Many people are already saying a lot of negative things about our family. And here you are, giving them a chance to speak even some negative things anymore. I don't get it, Damien. Who are the people talking about our family? And what exactly are they saying? I am not in the mood to discuss that. News came to me that my own brother's son, a priest of this kingdom, was arrested and was abandoned in the police custody by his own father. I went to that place as a nobleman of this kingdom to take him on bail because I know Leaving him in that, in that criminal infested environment is a dent on our image as a family. I should be commended. And here you are shouting. You should be commending me. Anything to the contrary is unacceptable to me. And you did that without consulting me. And you dumped him there without consulting me. Who should be talking, please? We shall see about that. You don't even know what is coming to you. You don't know. By the time I am done with you, it will hit you like a tsunami. We are at the palace now. Leo has gone into the restroom. Your husband just left here now. You won't believe how angry he was that I bared his own son from police custody. Was it not the same thing I told you? Anthony has changed. He's a totally different man. I don't know why he has become this mean. Are you coming over anytime soon? Coming over to do what? I hope you don't think this is permanent. I did what I did for my son. That is what you think, Sharon. Well, let me tell you. You have, you have, you have started something that will make you become bigger than you are now. Like I told you already, my daughter has gone back to school and my wife is not going to come back till around 5 to 6 p.m. We have all the time, so just come, come over. I am not going to waste time. It will not be today, maybe some other time. Are you not going to give it to me when I want it? I have an appointment with one bishop who has been calling me. I promise to see him today. You know, I don't like disappointing people. Oh, um, I will call you back later. Let me attend to my son. Oh. Oh. Mom, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. You're always welcome, son. You know I will always be there for you. I know. And you know I will always be there for you too. You're special to me. Thank you. Well, son, I have been meaning to ask you this question. And I think this is the best time to ask. Why did you do it? Why did I do it? Why did you sell your father's land in that manner? Mom, all right, I was, I needed money at that point, and selling that land was the only option. But I thought I told you to always ask me for money whenever your father and brother refuse to give you. Mom, I can't continue disturbing you with my problems. I'm a man. And you know you're special to me. I know, but... Shh. Mom, I'm back, and that's what matters. Yeah. Let me show you the new dance I learned in cell. What? This will be every morning now. Oh, no, no, Something no. No. Mm -mm. no. Mom, don't worry, let me teach you. You might need it somewhere. This is the latest one, though. This will dance every morning in cell. No 
matter how good a cook is, you will never get to know the real taste of the soup with one muscle of pandadia. You have to swallow and swallow and swallow for the taste to register in your mouth. That woman must not think of provoking me by giving me just that once. Once is not good for an Ishia like me, and she knows it. I will take it by force. <laughs> because of what you did, I have already forgiven your daughter. So don't provoke me. Don't just provoke me. I don't get it. My father bailed him. Yes, that's it. Did anyone bother to find out why my father would go to the police station to bail Leon? I don't know. But the honest truth is that I am very happy because my mother stopped talking to me for some time now, believing that I asked my father not to release him. Yeah, I understand that part. But I'm wondering, why would my father interfere? I am not saying I wished Leo had remained there, but why would my father come to his rescue? Maybe he just wanted to help. When you talk like this, you readily give yourself away as someone who doesn't know Damien. He is crooked, weird, and perhaps evil. Don't say that, Douglas. Why would you say such derogatory things about your father? Harry, I have related with him closely since I was a child. And trust me, I know him inside out. There must be a reason he bailed you. It can never be because he cares. He doesn't care about Liu one bit. What do you want to drink so I get it for you? You can grab me whatever you want to give me. Man. So, this is why you've been disturbing my phone? Asking me to come and see you so you can tell me this rubbish? Your Majesty, what I just told you is an undiluted message from God. He gave you a precious gift to wipe your tears. And now you've turned around to despise that gift. God is not happy with you. Bishop, truly, I don't know what you're talking about. Your God is not my God. So that message is not for me. Listen, Your Majesty. I advise you take whatever I tell you because it is directly from God. I didn't invite you here to make a request. I mean, I didn't invite you here to donate money to the church. No. I called you here because it's important. And I just told you that I am not interested. Bishop, you would do me a favor. Please, delete my number from your phone and don't you ever call me again. Are you serious? Well, take before you start accusing me of being stingy, use it. No, this money must live with you. I don't need it. I didn't ask for it, please. You are rejecting a gift of love? Listen, Your Majesty, this show of love to me is immaterial. Since you failed to show the same love to that precious gift from God, let me quickly advise you. Try as much as possible to solve this problem now, before it is too late. A Latin maxim says, Tempus fugit non regamus est. Time flies, it waits for no one. Your Majesty, Solve this problem before it consumes you. I'm sorry, Dad, but you're not answering the question. 
Why did you do it? You are the same person who has been urging me to do the right things. And finally, I decide to do the right thing, and this is what I get from you. I am your son, and I know you very well. Douglas, you don't know me. And you are very silly to stand before me to allege you know me. You know me. Go on, I believe there is something beneath this help you offer to the queen. She is not the queen. Your mother is the one that should be the queen. Don't forget that. Your permutations, dad. Today, my mother is no queen. Sharon, the wife of the king, is the queen I know. And you that I know could not help that woman without something underneath. What is it, dad? It is so clear you are drunk. That's why you could stand before me with your two hands stuck in your miserable pockets. And you are telling me this? You are drunk. Take your drunkenness to somewhere else before I scare you alive. You're telling me off by calling me a drunk because you know I am gradually unmaxing the truth. You are, right? very, you are very silly to say that. What do you know about the truth? Look at this idiot. Listen to me. Let this be the very last time you will interfere in anything that concerns me. Try it one more time and you will discover how angry your father can get. Now for the very last time, get out of my face. I can see disappointment written all over your face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You thought I would rot in that cell, but guess what? You are too small, Ipeka. Guess what? See this bomb bomb? I'm banging on it non-stop tonight. We're turning this palace upside down. You see this? You see this one? I will bring her close to your door. You will be hearing wah, 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 till morning. You won't sleep. Just to shame you. Can we go already? No. Let me finish with this pathetic accountant that has counted nothing all his life. Is he not your brother? He is my brother, but a useless one. Oh. Very useless brother. Listen, Henry, you can only try. Yes, you can only try and try. But one thing is for sure, I will always shame you. Now listen to me, Leo. The person that did this to you is very heartless. Can't you just say no to this useless substances you take? I don't need your advice. Keep it for yourself. Take your preaching elsewhere. Let me just go there. You will not sleep there. I know Bishop Okunka to an extent. To the extent that he has the right to dabble in two people's affairs? That I don't know. But you would have given him a listening ear. You shouldn't have walked out on him. Hello? Sonia, I did not tell you for you to become a judge. I know what I did. Thank you. It's okay. I actually came to make a case for Chimendu. I was told you eventually fired her. And she remains fired. Sonia, please. 
I don't want to discuss a useless girl. A useless girl? But mom, we both agreed that she should be forgiven. And then I caught her again today with Leo. You know what? I asked the stupid girl to prepare something for me to eat before leaving to see the bishop. Then somehow, something asked me to go to the kitchen. When I got there, I caught both of them red-handed. And you fired her. It's obvious Liu must have gone into the kitchen to distract her. Sonia, please, don't preach to me. That was the same girl I told to let me know whenever Leo harasses her. But no, she did not tell me anything. Rather, she was busy enjoying my son. Sorry, I don't want to continue with this line of discussion. <laughs> Sincerely, I don't understand this. You were the one who complained that you do not understand Vivian. I mean, it is obvious this girl is not serious. Why are you complaining she's not picking your calls? Cindy, I love this girl. I love her so much and she knows I cannot do without her. Mm. Why is she doing this to me? Brother, from experience, when a man loves a woman more than the way she loves the man, <laughs> there is problem. It go hard. That relationship, no fist stand. I'm telling you the truth. This girl, um, it's not obvious. I mean, it's obvious she doesn't love you. I don't want anybody using my brother. No woman will use you. Oh, please, Cindy, be more charitable with your words. Who told you she's using me? It's not obvious. It's obvious. You can see it yourself. Bros, I'm begging you in the name of God. Please. You need a woman who will love you. A woman that will value you. That's the kind of woman you should be looking for, not Vivian. I don't even know why I'm here talking this with you. Ah. so impressed, my dear. At. Now I know my daughter is ready to become a wife. You know so much about relationship. Where did you learn from? Mommy, I am disappointed at you. Would you eavesdropping drop in on our conversation? Huh? Mother, if I say I am not confused, then I lie. You hate me so much to the extent that you no longer conceal it. What have I done wrong? Tell me, I can make amends. Well, son, I guess I have to correct a false impression here. I don't hate you. I don't believe you. Mother, no day passes by without you raining curses on me. And oftentimes I, I wonder why a mother would do that to her son. Well, Henry, I am sorry if you misunderstood my veiled admonitions as curses. The truth is that I have a problem with your father. And because you support him in everything he does, it's only natural that you will drink from my pool of aggression. What is the problem? If it's something I can solve, I, I promise you I'll solve it immediately. Uh -huh. There is no point telling you because I know you will not. Let me hear what the problem is. Please. Okay. 
I want you to fire the manager that is occupying my son's office right now. Because I want my son to go back to his managerial post. You're speechless, auntie. You see what I mean? That means I've been right all this while. Mother, you know what the problem is. Leo is, is not capable. He will only end up liquidating that thriving business. Get out of my face. And never in your life should you ever meet me to discuss anything. Mother, you better get, get out! You selfish animal. And let me tell you something. For humiliating your brother, I will deal with you in this family. Trust me. Get lost. Why weren't you picking my calls? Babe, uh, I was I was in the middle of the interview, I, I couldn't have picked your cause. And you expect me to believe that, huh? Babe, you need to believe me. That's what happened. Besides, I, I tried calling you back and you weren't speaking my cause. Vivian, I'm going to ask you this again. Are you cheating on me? No, baby. I'm not cheating on you. And I wouldn't think of doing such. Don't you trust me again? My father does not like me that much. But if you ask him, and he is willing to tell you the truth, he will tell you that I will always find out the truth, no matter how people choose to conceal it. Babe, so what has that got to do with me? What business do I have with your dad? Why should I go asking questions? Why? I am only making a reference. Oh, uh, OK. There is a truth buried somewhere, begging to be unraveled. And trust me, I must unearth it. I want to be able to love you more when I finally discover that you're telling me the truth and nothing but the truth. Baby, see, you need to trust me, OK? I, I love you so much. Come here. <laughs> Just it's okay. Sharon, I don't like the rubbish I heard. Is it true? I don't know what you heard. You fired my babe, Chungani, without my consent. True or false? Leonard, you're so stupid to ask me such a question. How dare you take a woman in the kitchen? You have to be careful. If you come back here, yeah, yeah. how dare you walk out on me? Why did you buy my bed to you? Are you completely out of your mind? Have you lost your respect and manners for authorities? How dare you push me like that? You're talking about me. Hey. Are you out of your mind? You know, you raise your hand on our mother? Do you know what she did? Do you know what she did? This woman here once slapped me in my room. Why? Because she saw children in my bed in my room. I don't have this kind she of thing. She slapped me because she's the one that hired her. Now she had the effort to, to fire my bed without my consent. Can you imagine? As long as I am consent, she has the right to slap you over and over and over again if you do not take your time. Listen, you are a man, you don't understand. That baby is good. You know what she does to me in bed? You know, I will not, you should understand. I will not descend to your level standing here and talking this nonsense with you. Listen, if you people don't bring back my children, do there will be no peace. In fact, you people should bring back my babe or someone better. Else, there will be no peace in this palace. Do you know what that girl does to me? When they are around, yeah. So the same person she wants to run the company, wants to beat her up. You needed to have seen what happened back there. If I hadn't come on time, you would have beaten the living daylight out of her. And what did she do after you saved her? Nothing. 
She could not even acknowledge my timely intervention. And I am not bothered. Sometimes I feel you are too good to come from that woman. How do you mean? Both of you are like two repelling magnets. The woman is bereft of conscience. I don't even know how to say what I want to say. Then what will you say about Sonia? Is she not a complete departure from the same wicked woman? Let's just say we are unfortunate to have such a wicked mother. Right now I see her as a cross I must carry. So based on what she said, are you going to oblige her and restore Liu to his position in the company? That is not my decision to make. But I would confirm to you immediately that my father will not hear of it. If this is the only condition they want peace, then I am afraid they are not ready for peace. It's okay. You said you've forgiven me because of my mother. What does that mean? It means nothing. Listen to me, Sonia. I am holding this meeting outside here with you because it is clear to me it does not make any sense taking you inside where you will not be of, of, you, of any use. So say whatever you want to say now, here, now, and go back to your father's compound. I don't have time for heartless women like you that will never help anyone with what God has given them freely. And it's over. You are now who's tied to me because I refuse to open myself to you. What makes you think I will have anything to do with my uncle? Who is interested in you? Is it me? That must be in your dream. Look at this one. I don't even see you. You are only a child, and I'm telling you here and now that very soon you will come face to face with challenges that will make you regret ever insulting a man like me. I never insulted you. I only said I wasn't going to do what you asked me to do. And I'm telling you now, keep it. You don't want to do it. Keep it. And I, 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 don't, I don't want it to. But let me tell you something, Sonia. No matter what happens, the lion will never descend to the level of chewing grass. It must be flesh. For the lion has an insatiable test for flesh. Blood. The lion is a bloody animal. Are you claiming you don't know that? Even my father has never been interested in your proverbs. They have nothing to do with me. I only came here to say thank you for going out of your way to bear my brother. It shows that behind the facade of that evil heart that spills intimidation, deceit and wickedness, Lies a, a good and kind-hearted man. Thank you so much. I I I owe you one. Mugena sulebo. Mugeja golavo. Kwanu kwanu idioto. Well, I am happy she has come to realize that she owes me one, and I'm waiting here for the day she will decide to come and pay it, because she must pay it. And I must accept it. Yeah? Tell me the truth, Mom. Is it what I'm thinking? I don't know what you're thinking. Therefore, I cannot answer that question. Uncle Damien has been on my case for months now. In fact, he wants to sleep with me. And he has been very emphatic. What did you just say? You heard me right, Mom. He has made passes at me and has made direct requests, including asking me to meet him in a hotel, and I refused. Then finally, he tells me he has forgiven me because of my mother. I think I know what that means. And what do you think it means? Mom, did you sleep with him? I beg your pardon! Is that why he bailed you? Sonia, 
you are a fool for nurturing such thoughts. And for even believing that it's happened, I forbid you. I forbid you from saying such a demeaning thing to me. Well, why are you flaying up? I just asked a question. No, young lady. You did not ask a question. You made a conclusion. Like I said, I forbid you from saying such a demeaning thing about me. You are such a liar. I gather she was here last week. Why didn't you mention it to me? Who was here last week, please? Sharon. She was here. My man did saw her when she entered and when she left. That woman, from what I was told, spent like an hour in my house. What did she come here to do? Stella, you have just created an impression that I must have to dismantle immediately. This house, you have just called your house, is not your house. Was never your house and will never be. This is my house. And I am a titled man of this land. I have both the traditional and the legal rights to host anyone in my house. Okay? Noted, sir. Thank you. Why was she here? Well, she came to submit to my authority. That's one. And then she came to plead with me to assist her Bell had drug addict of a son from police custody. Do you think she would just come and leave without settling down to thoroughly explain what she wants? I am not just a man. I am the pot that is boiling in this kingdom and those that know me don't take me for granted. And the princess, what did she come here to do? She came to thank me for helping her mother. Oh, but, but by the way, what kind of useless interrogation is going on in my house? Are you interrogating me or what? <laughs> Prince Damian here. I am the pot that is boiling in this kingdom. May I know why you are calling, please? Ever doing anything with you? You are talking to the man of a man who has been exposed to all the dynamics of traditional... Why would you say a thing like that? I am a man who has been exposed to all the dynamics of traditional powers and authority. How could you call me and your son in that way? Yet you have the guts to call yourself a man who has been exposed to the dynamics of power. What kind of useless power do you think you have? Uh, you know what? I will meet you tomorrow in the office and we can iron this thing out. Hey, do, do you know what? Can you please calm down? Let us meet tomorrow in my office and then I will explain everything to you. But let me tell you something. I never mentioned anything to anybody and tomorrow in the office I am going to prove it. And why are you looking at me as if I'm a stranger you're meeting for the very first time? Is that not what you have become? What? Are you not a complete stranger to me right now? Who was that caller? Oh, a caller that was talking of plenty of money. <laughs> money. Don't worry, I will meet him up in the office tomorrow and we are going to see the deal and bring home the money. Or oh, are you not telling me you have a problem with money? Please. <laughs> money, money, money. <Just> stop. <laughs> I regret ever doing anything with you. You are talking to the man of a man who has been exposed to all the dynamics of traditional powers and authority. Why would you say things like that? Why would you tell my daughter what we did? Are you this useless? Yet you have the guts to call yourself a man who has been exposed to the dynamics of power. What kind of useless power do you think you have? Uh, you know what? I will meet you tomorrow in the office and we can iron this thing out. But listen, my dear. I'm down. I said nothing to anyone and tomorrow I will prove it. God.
Have I suddenly become a ghost that you cannot see me? You cannot attend to me? Why are you behaving as if you did not hear what I just said? Oh, Sharon. Why can't you allow me to have a moment of peace? Why? There is a successor I want you to name. Go ahead and name him. Then you will have all the peace in the world. Wait a minute, Sharon. Are you sure you are still normal? Why are you behaving like a mad woman? Oh! Go ahead! Call me names, Anthony. I don't care. Name Leo the heir to the throne. And that is the only condition for peace. And by that useless request of yours, you are confirming to me that you are the one that have been causing all the problems in this palace, right? Oh, please. Stop twisting things around. Anthony, I know that you know that I am trying to manage my temper. But I think this is the time to let it erupt. What is that supposed to mean, Sharon? Are you threatening the king? Sharon, do you want me to kill you before you know how to respect constituted authority? I am an authority myself in this kingdom. What is that? Why is it that you don't respect my views? Respect, they say, is reciprocal, remember. Sharon, define your boundary and stay by it. Do not provoke me beyond the limits that I could tolerate because I am going to roast you alive. Yes, I will. But don't ever bring up that topic again. What kind of a woman will be persistent in asking for the impossible? The same rascally idiot that almost beat her up today is the one she wants as successor? How is that even possible? Leo, be very careful. You are pushing me to the wall. If I don't, what will you do? Leo, I am your elder brother. You should respect me. Who gives a fuck? I'm my elder brother, who, who gives a fuck? Yo, do you want me to put you in prison and make sure you brought in there? Easier said than done. Everyone get out of my sight. You! I will slap you. Get out. Slap you! You! Falcone, what is it? Eh? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Wait, 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 wait. What is that? Mom Leo is disrespecting me and I've had enough of it. Will you shut up? Henry, I said shut up! Who is your mother? Listen, I cannot put up with this again. I'm tired. I am not your mother. What? What, 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 what are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. I am not your mother. And let this be the last time you will disrespect my son. So you are a bastard. We are Neko. Let's go, sir. Ordinary bastard. Oh God, I want her. Why would she shoot herself in the leg? You mean she told you that? Yes, father. And that is why I am here. I need you to explain to me what she meant. Sharon. Father. I am dying of curiosity. Please. She was very emphatic when she said she is not my mother. Please, Father. I need to know what that means.
so sorry, Your Majesty. Such is life. Thank God you still have your life. You can still conceive again. Don't tell you we don't understand. You will not understand. I do understand. What about the woman that gave birth three days ago? Her son lived when she died. We don't even know where she came from. We're just hoping that the taxi man will come back. She was deeply in pain when the taxi man brought her here. The condition actually started inside the taxi before she got here. It was already too critical. The taxi driver left as soon as she took her in. When we got to the labor room, the condition was already too bad. We only managed to save the child while the woman died. That's sad. A lot of people will be somewhere now wondering where she is. If you wait for one week, and the taxi driver doesn't show up. We'll hand him over to the authorities. We only monitoring the child for a while. Let's know he's in good condition before we hand him over to the authorities. Let's adopt him. Adopt what? No! Please. This is an opportunity for us to have a child. Yes. Believe me when I said God himself planned this for us. I want to go home with our child. He's my husband. And I believe Otto is educated enough to keep this as a secret. Please. Come on, Sharon. We can't still have another child. And what if we don't? Please. Do this for me. Do this for us, my husband. Please. Nobody found out because we and the doctor kept it a secret. And the taxi driver never returned. I wasn't really in support of the idea. But I had to make the Queen happy. We raised and loved you like our own. And I must say that you are a blessing because the queen was able to take in almost immediately and give birth to Leo and Sonia after we took you in as our own child. That's why it is true. Father, this is true. Erin, I... Why is this happening to me? Why? Why? Uh, my son, I am very sorry. I never told you this. I never thought there would be a need for that. The Queen used to love you, and I am sure you are aware of that. I don't know what came over her lately. I still can't even believe that she revealed that to you. But I want you to know one thing. You will always remain my son till eternity. You know why? We performed all the rituals that made you a man of Inuago kingdom, including the killing of a he goat on the altar of Aqualiomo, presenting you to the ancestors as a son. I did all that, so nothing changes. <coughs> This is serious. So Henry is not my blood brother. Both of you are not related in any way. His roots and background are still unknown to the king and I. No wonder. No wonder I never liked him. Hmm. So I am the heir to the throne. Exactly what I've been trying to make you understand. The throne is yours. This is making more sense. I know. I know. All hail the next king. King Liu the first of a Nuago kingdom. Interesting. Well, 
you have to keep it to yourself. Okay? Hey, Mo, I can't wait. I will be the first young modern king, digital king. I will legalize so many things, trust me. Not so fast, son. Not so fast. For the meantime, I want you to keep it to yourself. Okay? Why? I'm the next heir. I need to celebrate. How could you, Sharon? How could you reveal the secret that we have been protecting for years? How could you, Sharon? I got tired of keeping it. So I decided to reveal it. Moreover, I can't stand here and watch that bastard yell at my son. And I will never stay and see him become king. Did you hear that, Pops? I'm the next... Oh, would you shut up? What do you know? I know nothing. But they just told me the truth. And I said you should shut your trap. Now let me warn both of you. This better not get to the ears of any other person. Not even Sonia. Is that clear? No, 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 Pops. Sonia is my blood and she deserves to know everything. I can't hide such thing from Sonia. This is an order from the revered king of Inuago Kingdom. Disobey and you will see the other side of me. And as for you, I don't know what to say to you yet. But just know that I am disappointed in you. Even God, I am certain, is disappointed in you for betraying that young boy. Disappointed in me because I spoke the truth? You betrayed the spirit of that innocent boy. Ha. He never begged to come with you. The doctor was determined to hand him over to the authorities. You were practically crying, begging, and he gave you that child. Up till this very moment, the doctor has kept to his own part of the agreement. You are the one who have betrayed everything. But I can assure you one thing. Posterity will never forgive you. Ma, those are hard words. Don't mind him. Of course, he knows that those words are not for me. All hail the next king, King Leo the First of the Nuago Kingdom, the modern king, the digital king that will legalize so many things. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. If you know you want to be king, those are the things you have to stop. You will not understand. Sorry, baby, please. Stop. You will not understand. Would you have believed if I told you they are not my biological parents? Would you have believed? I wouldn't have believed. And I still find it hard to believe. But it is not the end of the world. But then, Why? you are a man. Why? And you can live with that. Why? Why? God, this is too much for me to bear. Oh, baby. Why? You can bear it. Why? I know this is too much. Why? And we don't know why God allowed what happened to happen. It is not for us to question him, but it is for us to find out why it happened. Please, baby. Where there is life, there is hope. There is and hope. life is supreme. <laughs> I'm sorry for everything, Mother. 
I must say I am grateful to you for all you have done for me. May God bless you abundantly. I want to let you know that I love you like my mother for all you have done for me since I was little. I suckled your breast at infancy and I love you so much. I am sorry for the pain that I have caused you. If there is anything, any way you want me to make amends, tell me and I would gladly oblige. Please, mother. Are you done? Mother. Mother. Stop wasting your time with that woman. I hate her. What is wrong, Julia? What do you mean by you hate her? Why? Uncle Damien has been sleeping with our mother. What? Can you live with that? Yo, what is wrong with you? Will you put your voice down? Do you know what you're talking about? How is that possible? Do I look like a baby? I know what I'm talking about. I'm waiting for father to return so that I can tell him everything. That woman fired my chewendo just because she was good to me. Don't tell me. So she needs to be fired for being so good to a character like Demian. When Sharon, you're here. You look dull. Cheer up, okay? Come on, cheer up. You have no reason to be sad. Yes. It's your life and we only live once. You owe nobody any explanation or apology. Really? Yes. What happened? Why the sudden change? Well, um, I sat back and asked myself a few questions and I've come to realize that you did nothing wrong. Yes. You even tried by sleeping with someone we did. That has not been touching you. I'm away. So you allowing his brother to touch you is, is no biggie. You're a woman for crying out loud. So cheer up and enjoy yourself. Wait, son. You made mention of a certain great man who knows what happened. Who is that great man? Mom, it's not necessary, okay? He's one of those fools that were confusing me, but I know better now. Mm. Mom, you've been by my side all my life. It's time for me to stand by you. And trust me, we are together on this. So cheer up, okay? Exactly the reason I want him to be king. His level of understanding is amazing and out of this world. I don't get it, Mom. He just denied that he never made passes at me and you believed him. Sonia, truly, I don't want to talk about this. Even if he did, the most important thing here is that it never happened. Please, let us not play into the hands of the enemies of our family. They will be happy that this whole thing is causing a lot of friction in our home. 
Why do I have this feeling that you have something going with that evil man? You must be a fool to even ask me such. Were you not the fool I asked to delete my number from your phone? Why are you still calling me? Woman, it has become clear to me that you're digging your grave. And I am putting it to you that you will be the one to be buried in that grave. Stop calling my number. I will not say this again. Is that not the bishop? What did he say? And what grave is he talking about? Is it not very clear that you're the one behind all this? Sonia, what are you going to gain? Son, I must thank you for your understanding. I am so glad. I appreciate. I also want to let you know that you will always remain my son. Nothing has changed, and nothing will ever change. I appreciate Father. But I also want to let you know that I have gotten myself a new apartment. A new apartment? Yes, Dad. Henry, why new apartment? This place is yours. Besides, you are the general manager of the family business. I know that, Father. I just want to leave here for now. Like you said, nothing has changed. I am still your manager and I was still I was to take care of business. You can count on me. I just feel I would operate better from my new apartment. The woman I call mother may now attempt to kill me. I am sorry, Father, that's the way I see it now. Ari, you should know that nobody can kill you. No matter how hard the person tries. Listen, you are that son of mine that I have always protected. I joined you to our ancestors early enough, and you have remained on the path of honor. You are protected, my son. Do not be afraid of anyone. I'm happy to hear that again, Father. But I am sorry. My mind is made up. I'm still your son. Call me anytime you need me and I'll be here. I can't believe this. This is the fifth day and my son has not yet returned. And you're not even bothered. What do you want me to do, Sharon? You are talking as if you don't know Leonard. He may have gone to do drugs with his friends and God knows where. So what do you want me to do? Really? So this is all you have to say? It's all right. But let me remind you that Henry has moved out of this palace some days ago. And what is that supposed to mean? I will hold him responsible if anything should happen to my son. Henry is too decent to be involved in anything stupid. And nobody can succeed in making me believe otherwise. Not even you. Without missing words, Henry, I am going to be very direct. I am not happy that you left the palace. What are you talking about, Douglas? You want me to remain in the palace? When the only woman I call mother has become my number one enemy? I cannot go back to that compound. She would eliminate me. But you know that is not possible, my brother. You are the head prince in that palace. And even in the eyes of the people, you are a gift from the gods. Why would you leave the palace where you belong? 
where you have absolute authority and come here to live a quiet life. Douglas, I have decided to face reality. I do not belong there. My background is unknown. I cannot continue to hold on to what I can never have. Liu is the first seed of the king, the heir apparent. I have decided to allow him to have what rightfully belongs to him. Even the cattle of Enuago will never allow Liu to rule over them. That is the truth. The king has not denied you, and that is what matters. Henry, please, I beg you, come back to the palace. And where are you coming from? I went to see Bishop Okunka. What? You went to see that fool? Why? You don't need to ask me. I am very disappointed in you. Excuse me? You went and listened to that fool. Only for you to come back to tell me that you are disappointed in me. You are not moving an inch until you tell me what that idiot said about me. He said a lot. According to him, Leo may have been killed and that you should be held responsible if his death is ascertained. I'm finally beginning to think like getting married. What do you think? Your Majesty, please do something. Do something, Your Majesty. Please help me find my son. The remains of your so-called son is in the mortuary as we speak. What did you just say? You heard me. The police have recovered his corpse and they've deposited it in the mortuary. And investigations have commenced. For the very first time in a long while, You've moved like the snake you are. Mm -hmm. This is what you should have done long before now. Mm. Hmm? My sweet husband, I'm so proud of you. What a man will do is within the confines of his heart. I remember telling you that I had a plan. Now you know what I've been planning. <laughs> but you never told me you had anything to do with his disappearance. And that is because a man is expected to be circumspect with his utterances. <laughs> At least now, Leo is dead. And the adopted son has run away because he knows he cannot be king. Good. <laughs> so it was you. So you are the evil brain behind all this. Son, it's not what you think. And even you, mom. You're part of this evil plan? Listen to me, son. Whatever we have done, we have done for our good. I want you to put sentiments apart and reason like a man. Please. What good? What? You killed your brother's son in your quest to be king? Why are you this heartless? Listen, son. I understand your concern. And I'm not going to blame you for that. But you need to understand one thing. Everything that happens is for a reason. Okay? I, I am interested in knowing this reason you hate your brother so much. You've never liked him as a brother, and it, it is so not right to me. Sit down. Mm. 
Now, Dr. Lassie, you listen. Anthony is my elder brother, quite right. But I was the one, our father, King Anthony the First, groom for kingship. Anthony was nowhere to be found. In fact, he left for the United States when he was only 16. We never knew he would come back. We had given up on him. In fact, our father gave me the mantle of kings already because he believed Anthony would not come back. Just as I was about to ascend the throne after our father's death, from nowhere, Anthony came back with money and started to bribe all the men in council, the body of kingmakers, and they made him king instead of me because of the money he was bribing them with. Can you now see why I have been doing what I have been doing? Save me the flimsy explanations, for it doesn't worth you shedding blood. Listen to me, I did this thing for us. I am the one that's supposed to be on the throne. And I'm doing this for us as a family. I am going to become king and you stand a chance of reigning someday as king in this land. I am not interested in the throne. And now you have killed because of it. I am out permanently. What? And even you, mother, you got involved because you want to be queen? Is this why you have shown Madame Sharon so much disdain? Listen, Douglas, you need to reason and understand with us. Royalty comes with a strong aura of glory. And we are royalty already. That should be enough for us. No, shut up. Shut up and speak only what you know. Royalty resides with the very family that holds the mantle of kings. The mantle of kings is with Anthony as we speak. And I am going to reclaim it from him, become the king of this kingdom, and then reposition this land. To hell with that, father. I am going to tell the king that both of you are responsible for Leo's death. Hey, young man, listen to me, young man. I want to warn you before you make the greatest mistake of your life. You may elect to forget all things, but don't ever forget. I am still that same Damien that even demons dread. Make the mistake of getting out of this compound to say what he just said now to anybody. And I am going to forget the fact that you are my son. You are going to disappear from the surface of the earth. Not just that, your corpse will not be found to be buried. Even the soothsayers of this kingdom will not be able to communicate with your spirit and your soul because you will be made to disappear completely. Don't provoke me. Or do you want to hear me? You will kill your only son because of this? Stop this, Douglas. Why are you challenging your father? But you just heard him threaten to make me disappear from the surface of the earth. Douglas, I will talk to him. But you must learn how to talk to your father. Every other person in this land fears him. Why are you measuring up with him? Why? Mother, why did you invade my office with these police officers? Inspector. Your Majesty. Are you going to listen to this murderer and disobey your DPO that sent you here? Arrest him immediately. Murderer? Mother, why are you calling me a murderer? I did not kill anyone. Young man, as I told you already, you are under arrest. And you have the right to remain silent. Whatever you do or say here will be held against you as evidence in the court of law. Although you have the right to an attorney, if you don't have one, the state will provide you. What nonsense are you talking about? First is you barge into my office and the next thing, you're asking me to keep silent? You will explain more when we get to the station. Officer, take him away. Now move. What is wrong with you, Sharon? Are you blind that you cannot see that Henry is responsible for Leo's death? And what proof do you have? I have a concrete proof. I mean, isn't it obvious that he's responsible for Leo's death? Is it not rather unfortunate that you have refused to appreciate the gift of God in that boy? Sharon, why are you waging war against an innocent boy who exudes nothing other than peace? Why? Anthony. 
it is totally depressing that you would accept or prefer a boy with an unknown background to your biological child. Stop calling him dad. I have accepted him to be my son, and my son forever he will be. What is wrong with this man? Both of us know the boy's background. Why is he still holding on to him? He is not the only one holding on to him. For Henry is the only brother I have. You may turn against him for whatever reason, but I will never turn against my own brother. If you try this next time, I'm going to tell my father what you've been doing with Damien, your secret lover. Has this got anything to do with your husband? My husband? I don't understand. You no longer regard him as your father. I am not the son of a murderer. He is your husband. And if he is the one that asked you to get this information from me, tell him that I am no longer interested in that relationship as I used to. The same woman your father approved for you to marry. Why would you say a thing like that? Mother, I am the one getting married, and I know who I want to marry. She used to be my choice, not anymore. And if your husband is madly interested in her, he can as well make her his second wife. Are you walking out on me? Are you not the same woman that supports her husband to murder someone just because of the throne? I don't have any reason to sit with you. And when I deem it necessary, I will call a press conference and tell them what I know. Father, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I have no hand in Leo's death. Why will I kill anyone not to talk of my own brother? I believe you. Leo may have been killed by some members of his gang. How he got to the place he was killed is what no one can explain. You know, one of the things my brother holds against me is that I don't believe in the traditional institution of this land and even the office of the chief priest. That is because I like being realistic in all my dealings. If I may say, Father, the traditional institution works. You told me you sacrificed a goat on the altar of Akwali Omomo to present me as a man of this land. You believed in that sacrifice. Why then did you say you do not believe in the chief priest? The said chief priest called me this morning and said I should come and see him. I asked Damien to go and see him, but he refused. I'm sorry, Father. I don't understand. Why do you like delegating crucial assignments to Damien? Why? Damien is my brother. And we all know that he is well grounded when it comes to traditional matters. If only you knew what that evil man does behind you, you wouldn't even mention his name. Father. The chief priest of Inuago has summoned you. Please, you should go. He may have the solution to all this. Well, I don't know his reasons, but he told his mother he is no longer interested in the marriage. Exactly what he told me. That's why I called you. You called me for what? See. I was getting all well with your son before you came into my life and succeeded in making my man end everything with me. What do I do now? I don't know why you're asking me that question. Vivian, I have never used you for free. There was never a time I stayed with you that I didn't end up giving you good money. So if actually my son has ended everything with you like you said, find another man for yourself. I'm, listen, I'm not even happy. Because the ritual that would have seen me end up as the king of Enuago did not eventually yield the desired result. Are you here telling me nonsense? 
What do you mean by ritual? Are you into ritual? What? No. Should I be doing the kind of things I've been doing if I were to be an ordinary man? Listen, I am that pot that is boiling in this kingdom. It was a very simple arrangement that my fluid must have to mix with the fluid of my son inside the same woman. I did the same thing eventually and you are the one that caused everything to crash because you kept allowing my son to come into you with condoms. Ah! Oh my God. So you have been using me all along. You've been using me for your rituals. No, no, no. It is not a negative ritual that would have seen you dead. No, I didn't plan to kill you. I don't kill anybody. It is a positive ritual that would have seen your status change. You would have been the queen of Enuago. Eventually, it didn't happen that way. And I am not available for your blames. Please. Douglas has ended it with me. And I'm pregnant for you. What do I do? You know, your biggest gain is that you opened yourself to the man that knows how to spend money. I will put one million naira in your account today. You would settle down and make a decision what you want to do with the pregnancy. Whether you are keeping it or whether you are getting rid of it. But let me tell you something. Whatever you decide to do with the pregnancy, it's okay by me. Have you seen why I hate this man so much? He is a complete de departure from your father. I insist we tread with caution. This is a very delicate case that can destroy your family, especially your mother and sister. We need wisdom. Henry, don't worry about me. I will know what to do. I will surely know what to do. I will leave this place. There is a rumor in the palace. The queen is sleeping with Damien, the king's brother. How is that possible? Maybe the same spirit that possessed you when you started doing your nonsense with Prince Leo has equally possessed her. Please, Chuendo, can you tell me why you called? I have told you to stop calling me when I'm at work. I sent someone to the queen with an information. What information? Have you seen the person? I have not gone downstairs since morning. What information do you have? Has it anything to do with the missing prince? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you the one keeping him? Has it run up to you? Why are you not saying anything? I just told you that I fired her because she allowed her son to sleep with her in the royal kitchen. And how is that my business? The power to hire and fire domestic staff is in your hands. And I have not questioned you on that. I know. But I also told you that she's pregnant. She sent someone with the information this morning. Have you called her to tell her that you have already sent that your so-called son to his untimely death? How could you say a thing like that? How could you say that I, I, I sent my son to his untimely death? Leo was killed by the enemies of this kingdom. Sharon, finally I have gone to see the chief priest. Did your daughter tell you that? <laughs> that useless daughter of mine. She is now Henry's wife. I don't want to have anything to do with her anymore. She has become a wife to her brother, same way you have become a wife to my brother. What did you just say? My daughter has never had anything to do with her brother. The accusation that she has become his wife is in bad faith. And I further attest that you, Sharon, the one I call my wife, have severally slept with my brother Damien. If I lie, 
Let me die. Denying that you have not been sleeping with Damien. If you fail to swear on this staff and give me the assurance that I need from the one I call my queen, not only will I throw you out of this palace, I will equally inform all the women of this land what their so-called queen has been doing. Why are you doing this to me? After all the years we've been together, is this your impression about me? for my husband not just that harry has just confirmed to me not only that did he attempt to sleep with sonia he has been sleeping with the queen here in this house no what how can you say that douglas i mean how can a man like my father sleep with his brother's wife no no that is so difficult to believe my dear cindy and, but that is exactly what they have been doing. Where is Damien? I'm sorry, my king. Did you just confirm he has been sleeping with your wife? The chief priest invited me, and I went to see him. He gave me the confirmation and told me what I must do. As we speak, Sharon is dead. What? She died on this staff because she swore she never had anything to do with Damien. I called Damien and he said he is home. Where is Damien? Damien said he is home. Oh, that means he has another home somewhere. Another home somewhere? Where could that be? What happened? I don't know. He, he screamed and started I started pleading with some strange powers to spare his life that it, it was his wife that was pushing him. Uh, I got confused with what he was saying. Before I could do anything, he collapsed uh, and, uh, and died. Please, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, please spare my life. I'm going to explain everything. You owe me no explanations. If you were guilty, the same powers that killed them would have killed you. Call the undertakers. Let them handle his remains. Meet me later in the palace. We will know what to do. Nothing can stop what God has started. The people who fought in opposition against you were finally the people who triggered their own deaths. The chief priest has confirmed already that you are a son of the soil and that you are eminently qualified to rule this kingdom after me. The circumstances surrounding your bed does not count, for the gods have accepted you from bed. And they have blessed you abundantly. I therefore bless you and your wife today with the blessings of the gods of this land, even as I bid you welcome home to your palace where you belong, a place where Nobody will force you to live ever again. You are blessed. Thank you very much, Father. Be fruitful in all that you do. He said, you may rise.
seek power to rule. Your throne is mine. Throne is mine. I seek power to reign. It is my right. I must take what is mine. I am fearless. Yes, I must take what is mine. 